Same as yesterday, same as every day. Oh, I, I, I presume that's a good sign. In this place, it's a good sign to be standing upright. <laughs> I, I, I tried to call several times. I even tried no, to come no, up no, to no, you. No, 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 well, I didn't want a lot of people feeling sorry for me. Then I'd have to listen to all their sob stories about how bad they had it. I don't go in for all that nonsense. It's over now, anyway. Doctors said I stand a good chance that they got it all. <laughs> As if they know anything. Oh, no, 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 wait, please. I got things to do. Oh, I know, I know they do. But I just thought you might help me. Just, just for a little while. <coughs> Why would you waste your time on this? Well, I, it, it's a hobby of mine. I like to see how everything fits together. Makes me feel accomplished. <laughs> Makes me feel nervous. All these little pieces laying all over the place, trying to jam them all together, make something out of it. Oh, funny, I, I find that relaxing. Try reading. <laughs> Much easier. Well, I, I, I need an excuse to come downstairs once in a while. It's so easy to stay up in our room. Yeah, tucked away neatly in our own little slots. <laughs> now you make us sound like hamsters. Yeah, <laughs> and it's almost feeding time. We'll all be down in a while. Oh, come on. Sit down for a while. But you, you have an analytical mind. Well, that tells me you got too many pieces. But what will they become? That's the beauty. That's the journey. Wherever it is you're going, I never saw trees this color. <laughs> <laughs> How is your family? Oh, your son is coming to a visit. I heard last I heard. Yeah. Well, he he got a Big promotion. He works for a very large dealership now. Oh, wonderful. <coughs> wonderful. How are the children? I wouldn't know. With his new schedule and his new wife, he has been busy. Anyway, the kids, they look great on Facebook. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry they didn't come. Why? No, they'll be along soon enough. You know, I posted right on his page. I told him, you call first. I just don't want him popping in here. I don't like surprises. Ah, efficiency of the net. Yeah, does cut to the chase. But it must be wonderful to have a family. Life, it can leave us so alone sometimes. You, you never married. Oh, well, they, there, there was somebody once, but it, it didn't work out the way I thought it would. Uh, it was difficult, but uh, I am past that yeah, now. Well, you spared yourself some grief. When I got older, he went younger. <laughs> I'm all alone now anyway. Huh. Not that it bothers me. But you have two children to show for it. True, but I am not sitting around waiting for any of them to come and see me. Come and see if I kick the bucket yet is more like it. Come and see if there's any money left. Oh, but your daughter, surely she's no, not No, no, like no, she's even busier than he is. Anyway, I've got a plan. I'm going to stick around for a long time. Uh, just to trick them. No. <laughs> it can't be that bad. Yeah, well, it must be my vivid imagination. You see that one over there? He and Ms. Botox have been talking on the cell phones the whole time. They haven't heard a word his mother said. They haven't heard one word, I swear. I don't think that's Botox. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Sonia! Sonia! Over here! Join us! Sonia, we could use some help! Oh, no, no, thank you. I, I've got so many other things on my mind. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. We could use an extra pair of pants. Esther, 
was kind enough to stop by. I was in a charitable mood. <laughs> well, I, um, I am good at that sort of thing. <laughs> him pulling away. He, he became more and, and more distracted. He started to have trouble putting the pieces together, so he, he pound them into pieces. <laughs> <laughs> or, or he'd have some left over, and he, he'd just sit there, overwhelmed. And then he would get up and storm out of the room in silence. We both knew what was happening. Well, it's, um, it's a very romantic story, nevertheless. I, I, I'm, I'm sure that you miss him too. Well, of course, you always do. Uh, but then I met Ernst. <laughs> he was a friend of Harry's. Oh, it was love at first sight. He came to the funeral, actually. He was a pallbearer. <laughs> you know what they say. A man in uniform. <laughs> in a black suit. <laughs> no, no, the, the, the corners. What, 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 what about them? Sonia, she should do the corners first. You do the corners. I'm doing the edges. Everyone knows you, you have to frame it first. Well, it's not a painting. It is a puzzle. Uh, it, it needs corners. It needs shape. It needs form. You start from the edges and you work your way in. Well, it could be here all afternoon. We may not even make it for dinner, for God's sake. I, I, I think that there is nothing wrong with taking different perspectives on this. It, it makes it all the more interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Agree? Would you spare us the psychology? Mary Claire is right. You do it your way, I'll do it my way, the correct way. <laughs> all right, fine. And then when we have all these pieces left, it's going to be your fault. I should listen to you. A woman who stole my lucky chair. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying? But my chair. The one I always sit in when we play cards. Well, I don't see your name on it anywhere. Just because I was away traveling, you didn't have to steal my chair. <laughs> Take it. Take your silly chair. <laughs> you still won't be able to do the edges because you won't have any corners to line them up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a woman who spends her time naming shoes. Well, I, I was an advertising assistant at Gimbal's. Well, you named shoes for a living. You said so yourself. Oh, Esther, you never mentioned that. That, if I have to explain, was a marketing strategy. <laughs> you think women would buy shoes without identifying with them? <laughs> they were so lonely they needed to name their shoes? <laughs> I should bear, buy a pair of heels because they're called Patrice or, or, or Monique. <laughs> I always wondered who dreamed up that nonsense. They needed names. We were told they had to sound like friends. Names that, that appeal to the customer. If you had been in retail, you would understand. A lot of thought went into what I did. Pretty. 
to be a name actually, but I think of it. <laughs> I wonder you do the corners first. <laughs> actually, the way I begin a project like this is I look at the picture, I study it first, I get a feeling of what it's telling me. Right. She's naming shoes and you're talking to pick your puzzle. <laughs> and then I separate all the colors, all of them. You get to feel how different they are and yet how they relate to each other. Colors, hmm? All right. We'll try it your way. Right. Yeah, that's it. There is a method to it. Now they worry are never going to finish. <laughs> all right, all right. Give <coughs> me the white pieces. Uh, I will work on those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the snow here reminds me of Ohio winters. Oh, and hot soup, wood burning oh. fires, and hot soup. Oh, well, my mother made the best. Oh, I can still see the steam rising off the bowls. And, oh, if it would warm your hands. Oh, we didn't have money for anything else, but we never knew that we were born. How could we judge? Everyone's busy eating soup. And I remember my mother always wearing one of her cashmere scarves to dinner. <laughs> well, it was cold in Boston, too. Uh, wool, wool, woven, woven from the neck of the goat. Pure oh. pashmina, and so, so soft. And to prove it, she would pull the entire scarf through her ring. ta -da! <laughs> Okay, okay, you do the snow, and I'll do the the mountains. <laughs> what was it like growing up in society? Oh, a lot of parties, cheese. I was a debutante. My mother never really left Budapest behind. And she insisted that I behave in a manner that reflected on her European background. <laughs> she was very strict about that. Well, I am jealous. Beautiful clothes, dances, oh. traveling. When I grew up, we never had money for those sorts of things. Oh, speak for yourself. I went to Cleveland on my honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to be jealous about. After the Depression, they lost it all anyway. I was sent off to boarding schools and never came home after that. My mother couldn't stand the thought of being poor. She became a different person and couldn't relate to her new status or, or to any of us, for that matter. She, she left after that. I, I missed her terribly. It was, it was very lonely, really. Sonia, you have three husbands. I, I married as soon as I left school. I don't even think I loved him. I just didn't want to be alone. <laughs> Funny how you carry that with you. I, I wish that I had married the right person, but life has given me an interesting journey nevertheless. Yeah, well, so what? I married for a lot of a lot of good that did. <laughs> After 14 years, two kids and a golden retriever, <laughs> he left. Where is he now? Oh, he's found in Florida, so the kids told me. I picture him as one of those nervous old people who gets up early to walk up and down the beach looking for shells. Day after day, hordes of them <laughs> scrambling around before the tide wipes them all out to sea. <laughs> what did they do with all those shells anyway? They don't laugh. They make lamps. <laughs> and oh, oh, and paperweights. <laughs> oh, oh, seems like I was spared a lifetime of crafts. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think we should set this one aside, but only if you promise to come back tomorrow. All well, this conversation has made me hungry. Ladies, shall we? Did you hear that, Antoinette? <laughs> come along, darling. They say the pot roast tonight is to die for. <laughs>